What is going on guys, this is Steve Vinci here, and today I'm going to be talking about Ole Miss football. Now as you all know about the uh, NFL draft, about how Laramie Tunsil uh, was caught smoking weed and all that before the draft even started, and then all of this stuff, his stuff was hacked. Uh, it's pretty bad stuff that went on around the NBA draft before it even started, and that kind of cost him a little bit. But I feel like he'll do well in the NFL. He's a big dude, an office lineman who could be a product of the NBA, uh, NBA, NFL. So, what is going on around Ole Miss? Well, Ole Miss, as you recently know, um, that they were um, filed a filed an investigation on their team because somehow Ole Miss got like good five-star recruits. Uh, and also academic uh, scandals as well, <laughs> coming from academic scandals, aka UNC Tar Heels. <laughs> but hey, we're free, <laughs> supposedly. But uh, the NCAA expanded their investigation on the Ole Miss football program again. Uh, they got five-star recruits. Uh, it says I got some like three qu uh, quotes. Uh, this all credit go credit goes to uh, SIs.com. Um, Sports Illustrated for uh, you, if you don't know what SI means. All right, so the first uh, quote I'm going to give you, or the uh, paragraph, is the NCAA investigators have expanded their probe into the Ole Miss football program and have interviewed recruits who were also recruited by two or more rival Southeastern Conference schools, reports Yahoo Sports' Pat Ford. Uh, next one is next one is. According to the report, the NCAA visited Auburn, Mississippi State, and possibly one more SEC West school this summer to speak with players who were recruited by Ole Miss. Now, I'm I'm tired of it. This is kind of a BS like, uh, like investigation because everybody does this. I mean, look what happened to SMU. Like they stole basically every good five-star recruit there was out there, and they were the best team in the world. But they basically paid the players to play. Ole Miss, I mean, it's similar to Auburn, how somehow Auburn got Cam Newton in that situation, and look at how they won the uh, whole BCS National Championship and stuff. But, I mean, it's, it's just they don't want Ole Miss to be good. Because one of my friends that go to Ole Miss says that they don't want Ole Miss to be good. They want to be like Ole Miss, like a mediocre team. Just because Alabama is really great, and Alabama steals basically all the five-star recruits there is, but that's just my opinion. So don't get mad at me if you're an Alabama fan. I already did a video, so yeah. <laughs> all right. So what Ole Miss uh, released a response. Um, it says, like I said, Ole Miss released in its response to the NCAA notice of allegations issued in January in which the school was investigated for accusations of academic and recruiting misconduct involving the women's basketball team, LOL, uh, aka UNC again. <laughs> uh, the football team and track and the uh, field program, basically a scapegoat for the uh, football team. It's, it's always like that. If you're a big time school and only mainly care about like basketball, baseball, football, maybe even like a lacrosse, um, they always try to use the women's basketball and some other lane, like low, uh, nobody cares about sport, to use as scapegoats. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Field program. The self-imposed penalties to the football, cram, football program, which include three years of probation and 11 viewer scholarships over the next four years. I mean, it's just like that. I, it's kind of, I mean, no, it's stupid. That like in, the NCAA investigates Ole Miss, but they don't investigate Alabama for their misconduct for uh, Laramie Johnson or Johnson or Cam Robinson. My bad. They don't do anything about Cam uh, Robinson. They don't do anything about those f uh, three uh, Alabama players who were in Ella, who were in Louisiana just a few months ago. They didn't do anything about that, but yet they do stuff about Ole Miss. They do stuff about Auburn, all the other teams in the SEC. I know I seem really biased about this, but it's so obvious to see that all these other schools who are trying to recruit five-star recruits and somehow get them are always an under investigation. That's why um, the NCAA never wanted SMU to be good because they're a mediocre team. Um, even though they could have been good, uh, they're struggling now this year uh, for the past few years. Um, but as you all know, the opponent says uh, how like they basically pay their players to win games. I mean, they, everybody, does, everybody does this. Like, all around the school, 
everybody, if, it, if it's a big time school, they get a free pass. But if it's a mediocre team, then they don't get a free pass. I mean, Ole Miss has beaten Alabama for the past two years. Two years. And yet, the NCAA thinks that in Ole Miss is a bad team and a mediocre team. So, I mean, I know it sounds kind of biased. It sounds like I hate Alabama, which I don't. I am neutral. I mean, but I, I well, I, okay. Honestly, I do not like Alabama. I don't really like Nick Salmon either because he's a, he's a great coach, but he's not a great coach off the field. Ah, so many things. I just want Alabama to lose this year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't like, I'm sick and tired of seeing Alabama in the playoffs every single year. Every single, like, I felt like, I feel like Alabama in my lifetime have been in the uh, playoffs or BCS National Championship, like, probably 14 years out of my 21 years of life. <laughs> What do you guys think about this uh, issues with Ole Miss and their football program? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to do some more about Ole Miss or just any other SEC teams, let me know in the comments below. I will. I'll talk about more uh, ACC. This video is after the UNC versus Georgia game. And uh, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Leave it here. Peace.